Cuckoo. Ha! That's the sound of a man cutting up some ham. Oh, yeah. That's the sound of a man cutting up some ham. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? We'll throw that right into the frying pan here. And we'll put it all back on the heat. There we go. Oh, shake it up there. There it is. Rocky's having some ham as well. I cubed up some pieces for him. Yeah, pretty good stuff. I apologize for my singing, but I couldn't resist. When I was a kid, we used to take songs. Of course, that's back in that era when that song was out. And um, we changed them. I remember Beach Babies. Where you go, beach babies, beach babies, there on the sand from July to the end of September. And it would say we couldn't wait for graduation day. Took the car and drove to San Jose. We changed the lyrics to we couldn't wait for graduation day. Got real drunk and wrecked the Chevrolet. That was just one example of what we would do to pass the time. We didn't have the interwebs back then. It was like 1971. So this is what we used to do. Um, Gypsy Rose. Say, has anybody seen my sweet Gypsy Rose? She's got rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. We used to say she's got rings on her fingers and snots in her nose. You know? <laughs> I'm sure you guys all did that too if you were around back then. Anybody listening to this who remembers that era probably did the same thing. It was a big thing to do back then. Take the songs on the radio and change the lyrics and have a good time. Coming up with new and innovative lyrics for the top 40 songs of the time, you know. Riding in the backseat of a big old car listening to the AM radio. Where your grumpy dad just tried to just tried to navigate through traffic without killing anyone or, and so on. And was getting mad at you for making too much racket back there, you know, saying don't make me pull this car over. Anyway, there you have it. All right, we'll talk to you all later.